Welcome, my beautiful souls. Uh, today we are going to do a reading for Pisces. This is going to be for Pisces, sun, moon, rising. Um, many of you are going to be intuitively guided, and I thank you for paying attention to your intuition, as do your spirit guides. Um, and I say that because I connect to my guides when I do readings. Uh, that's why, like, random things may come out, but that's because I feel like well, I don't feel like it. I know my guides connect to your guides. So um, definitely ask for confirmation. And that's why sometimes I say things like, I'm like, why am I saying that? But I've learned that even if I don't know why I'm saying something, it's, chances are it's because, you know, maybe it's like something you asked your guides for me to say. So anyways, any reading you watch, you should definitely, you know, invite your guides and ask them you know, let me know, give me confirmation, um, let me feel it, that's really the main thing, feeling the energy, so anyways, um, you could also be in love with the Pisces, I mean, hello, the most lovable, one of the, one of the most lovable signs, um, platonically, romantically, same thing, you'll probably receive messages, um, I do want to give a shout out to Samson, um, Sam's son, Justin, who, uh, his birthday is the 26th of February. Um, and I know he watches every once in a while, so shout out. Um, all right, guys, let's go ahead and get into this reading. You know, I feel like it wasn't that long ago that I did a reading for you. Um, However, I was really called to do, this is for December, by the way, December 2024. Um, though, again, I feel like a reading will find you in divine timing or you find it. It'll come across. You'll come across it just when you need it is what I feel. That's what I, That that's the things that I had to learn to just like trust and let go of. Um so, anyways, yeah, so, I, I don't know, I felt called to do your reading, um, and I just did Virgo's reading, so, Virgo is your opposite sign, this month, for some reason, I'm not doing, like, normally I was doing opposite signs, but this month, I'm just, I'm really just going by the sign that I feel called to, um, on whatever particular day, and today, Pisces, I was called to you, so, we're going to use a few different decks. Um, I really look at the decks as different levels to the reading um, because we do go deep, you know. It's interesting. I had someone leave a comment who I think she said she was a Virgo who said that she can't listen for more than five minutes. Um, you know, patience is a virtue, but to each their own. You know, I know I'm not everybody's cup of tea, um, but yeah, the readings are long. But they're long so that we can really, mm, you know, find the root of a problem. Um, you know, it's it's like I, I, I don't want to leave anything unturned for you. You know what I mean? I want you to have as much clarity as I can possibly give you. All right. So we are going to use Mother Mary. She will be our first level uh, for her beautiful words of wisdom. We are going to use the Gilded Tarot to clarify or go deeper. Interesting, the High Priestess wanted me to see it. That's your intuition, your higher self. Um, I did bring out the Romance Angels in case love comes out in the reading, which, you know, I feel like my readings are really life readings um, where they talk about your career you know, people in your life, but also love, um, you know, I feel like we cover all, all areas. I did bring in the major arcanas for December. Um, I use these for kind of like bullet points, though I have to say, I feel like they're really bringing a lot of spiritual messages. Um, and that makes me feel good because I want you to feel good about knowing that your guides really are here to help you so this will be the second layer and then for your main spread we're going to use the psychic churro um a deck i just love for you it just fits you it just really fits you so let's go ahead and start the churro portion 
and we're going to start with Mother Mary. Um, everything is always pre-shuffled, but I like to give it a shuffle with you here. Okay, let's give him a cut. Mother Mary, for my beautiful Pisces and those guided here, what words of wisdom for my beautiful Pisces. Faith, it's my granddaughter's name, Faith. I have faith in God to heal this situation. I have faith in God to heal this situation. So clearly some of you are looking for um, well, probably clarity within a situation. So we'll see. Um, it'll definitely let us know throughout the reading why it's here. But let's go ahead and bring in the major arcanas. And I really shoot for like three or four. Um, very seldom do I turn cards away, but if it's, you know, the majority of the deck, I have to. And I feel like when it's the majority of the deck, it's just my human error. All right. I just get this feeling something wants to come out. We have the hangman. Could be a pause in the action. Um, could be something, you know, where you're looking for healing over a situation. You know, the hangman to me is someone who's seeking wisdom, um, spiritual wisdom, but to use on this earthly plane. He's swaying to the right, so let's see what he's swaying towards. I also feel like there may be something that is really meant to find you in divine timing. And, you know, it's interesting how I was saying about that comment where the person just didn't have the patience. Um, and I'm not judging her, like, I, to each their own. Um, but I kind of feel that, like, you know, I want something to happen sooner versus later. Hmm. The star. No. So there's a wish that I feel like you're thinking about, a dream that you want to come true. You know, the star, first of all, is the card of Aquarius. Um... But it's really about manifesting your dreams. You know, I feel like in the star's energy, it's not magic, right? It is about your hopes, your dreams, and your wishes coming your direction. But I also feel like it's because of our also our human action. I feel like we work hand in hand with divine. So the hangman is swaying towards the star. So definitely wanting um, a dream or a wish to come true. We have the Hermit, part of Virgo, your opposite. Um, and by the way, Aquarius is your neighbor. But I don't really read them as people. I read them as energy. And then look at this. We have the world. So, you know, the next chapter. Interesting, because I feel like everyone is getting this in their reading. Um, so this could even talk like universally, universally. I don't think I'm saying that right. Um, you know, change for a lot of people. But I feel like when the world shows up, first of all, it can signify that, you know, something is ending. Um, because this is about a new chapter opening up. 
interesting that the hermit is actually the hermit's lantern is act, actually illuminating the world's energy the world is mirroring the hangman so i feel like hang on snoopy hang on um because I, I feel like this is not far off. You know, when I see the hermit, I do feel like many times the hermit has gone through, you know, uh, we'll just call it the dark night of the soul. Um, it just means something difficult. Um, sometimes I feel in the hermit's energy, it's like being brought down to your knees, you know, praying for help. And that's exactly what it feels like you're doing here, over here. I have faith in God to heal this situation. So, you know, the hermit, though, is emerging, you know, um, you'll either see the hermit going into a cave. I mean, it depends on the decks, but usually it's a cave, um, which to me symbolizes, you know, solitude, looking, asking those, um, those tough questions, receiving spiritual clarity. Um, I feel like the hermit's a wise old soul. Some of you may have a life path nine. Um, and that is about reflection. You know, it's really learning about life. Um, but I feel like with the hermit emerging and also illuminating the world, I feel like the hangman, um, it feels like we're getting closer and closer and closer to the hangman's dream becoming the hangman's reality. And I see the hangman, I feel like it's you. By the way, when I do a reading, I say me a lot. I say I. Um, but I do that because I'm just like, like today, I'm a Pisces. Um, so that's why I do that. I'm not reading for myself. Some people um, get confused by that. So I definitely wanted to clear that up. All right. Let's go ahead. And let's bring in the psychic trail. Let's give him a shuffle. Give him a cut. Okay. I'm not going to deny that. All right. Accelerated motion. Look what she's looking up at star um and number eight new beginning it's also the number of infinity as above so below um i feel like whatever dream the hangman which again is you i feel like this is saying it potentially it's it's on its way accelerated motion and then we have the death card, card of Scorpio. Um, but the death card speaks about endings, transformations, right? But with the world here, I feel like we kind of already knew that. You know what I mean? Because I feel like when the world shows up, it means one chapter is ending. But it's so a new chapter can begin. You know, the death card, um, it's a card you don't want to fear. You know, because, you know, just like i don't know i think of real life and real death a lot of people believe that's really when our souls start living so anyways i feel like um i'm definitely feeling like one thing had to end so another thing can begin and you know the solitude of the hermit some of you have been in that energy um but it may have served you very well like don't ever regret going through you know even if you need to pull yourself away from people it's like do what you need to do to help heal yourself because it's going to be different for different people but transformation all right let's keep going not just transformation but i feel like you know as one chapter closes, I feel like very quickly this new chapter opens up. And it doesn't have to mean in all areas of your life. But we'll see. We'll keep going.
we have material and spiritual prosperity. And then we have balance, which is justice. Uh, Carta Libra. Number 11. I don't know why that's standing out to me, but it is. Um, and, you know, it's interesting because all of a sudden I'm picking up this energy that some of you may have been in um, karmic situation. And, you know, don't regret that either because let's say you've been through like some type of karmic situation and it wasn't easy, um, but you got through it. You know, that means that you paid that karma off for eternity. And I feel like, you know, when we think about like our own karma, our own energy. Um, I do feel like, you know, because again, as I pay off this karma, I feel like I don't just pay it off for me. I pay it off for all the loved ones that follow me. So it's like, it's like breaking, let's say, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, generational curses. I don't know if that's the right word I was looking for. Um, and by the way, I love material and spiritual prosperity under the hermit. Because I feel like that's exactly what the hermit is looking for. Spiritual advice. I feel like the hermit then um, probably has always had this energy. Then is like a natural healer. Some of you, I could definitely see you doing that for a living. and doing well, you know, material and spiritual prosperity. I feel like with justice mirroring accelerated motion, remember justice has that sword and that sword is available to you always. And that sword is to cut out energy, people, situations that just tend to hold us back. You know, um, again, it's not about regretting where I've been. It's about learning where I've been. Because the more I can learn from my experiences, the wiser you are. And I feel, you know, once I've learned certain things, chances of me repeating them are very slim, if at all. Though, you know, we do have uh, free will. So I feel like, you know, using that sword of justice, cutting the ties to, um, again, anything that just feels like it may be holding you back. Because don't forget, the star is about your dreams, your wishes, and bringing them into your reality. With the death card right underneath that, you know, I feel like there's no other way to look at that other than a chapter ending. But look at the transformation you've had at the same time. So each step of the way, even if you've been through difficult situations, I feel like, but look what you've overcome. You know, be proud of yourself. Look what you've overcome. Again, eight is about a new beginning. I feel like you're ready for it. I feel like the star is probably talking, for some of you, may talk about your material prosperity. You may start to see, um, first of all, I feel like your interest would be piqued in certain elements. And if you follow that, you may just find yourself on a completely new path. But it'll feel right. And again, I feel like it's using the wisdom you already have. Um, you know, I just, I, I just answered a comment. Um, I forget what the question, it wasn't a question, but, um, I forget where I was even going to go with that. Hmm. What was I going to say? I don't know. Let's keep going. And if it wants to come back, it'll come back. Well, hello. 
to that knock off. Let's see if I can reach it. Accelerated motion, knocked it off the table. I don't think so. All right. Intuition. Oh, I never brought the lid down. I'm sorry, guys. Intuition. Um, coming under accelerated motion. Instinctively knowing when to move. Instinctively knowing when it's time for a change. We have the Emperor. Card of Aries. We have Hello Lovers. Card of Gemini. And then we have Judgment. Beautiful. And Judgment here is called Truth. And I kind of love the truth is mirroring your intuition, your higher self. So judgment is about calling you into the present moment because you're about to be guided on this new journey. You know, you're always being guided, but I feel like you are, hmm, like you're listening. You're picking up on signs now where before maybe it was somewhat difficult. So I love the judgment, again, who's calling you to your present moment because they're sending you signs to help you manifest these dreams. But your intuition is what's going to let you know when it's go time. And we have the lovers, two sixes, by the way. Um, the lovers, the meaning of the card is a head over heart decision. Right next to the emperor. But the emperor is coming under transformation. Makes me wonder. Um, I'm just trying to feel if I can pick up anything negative about the Emperor. And at this moment, I can't. So I feel like the Emperor, again, card of Aries, but it does not have to be an Aries. And it probably is not for the majority. Um, but it does speak about, first of all, it can be business ownership, which I would, I just love that energy if that's the case. Like, you know. As it relates to your money, do I follow my head or my heart? I feel like follow your heart. You know, of course, use your logical mind, but follow your heart. Um, because I feel like this material prosperity, I feel like it's real. You know, like, like it's obtainable. Your spiritual prosperity, certainly for real. And your spiritual team coming out in the reading. You know, that makes me feel, I don't know why, but all of a sudden I feel like the sword of justice is like a tool that you always carry with you, you know, and learning to use it, like learning the responsibility of that sword. You know, it gives you the opportunity to eliminate or cut out. The energy that is just not serving your higher purpose, especially with spiritual prosperity here. I feel like many of you have a higher purpose. Hmm, beautiful. We have the sun, which is called light, in this stack. The sun, like a brand new day. The sun is your illuminator. Um, you know, I feel like you don't have to worry when the sun is out. Because, because of a few things. Number one, if, if I'm worried about, like, anyone 
or anything that may not serve my higher purpose at this time, the sun will illuminate that to you. You know, the sun illuminates everything. The good, the bad, the ugly. When the sword needs to be used. Um, but it's real clarity at the same time. I also feel like it's very playful. Um, enjoying life type of energy. Some of you it may have been a while since you felt this energy. See what's underneath it. Obstacles and challenges. That's probably why I just said that. All right. Um, Cardalio, by the way, I don't know if I said that. All right, let's bring in the Gilded Tarot. And let's go deeper. I definitely want to know more about this Emperor. Um, mainly because he's coming next to the lovers. Um, but I also want to say, I do feel like the Emperor, for some of you is talking about the potential of like business ownership or you may start seeing like uh promotions come your way new opportunities come your way to help increase your finances you know and it's not about just like oh i want to make sure pisces has lots of money no i feel like it's what you do in the world that helps support you Definitely feel like your spiritual team is here to support you always. All right. So it started at the beginning, but let's read it as a whole. All right. We have seven of wands. We have the Six of Pentacles. All right, let's just stop for a second. Seven of Wands is the energy of standing in one's ground. Um, it can be the energy of putting out other people's fires. Like I put one out, another one begins. Um, it can be defending oneself, you know, like where, you know, let's say someone accused you of something. That just isn't true. It's you defending that action, like defending yourself. Um, but I do feel like this is part of old energy. Because I don't feel anywhere in here that you would need that energy of defending yourself. And that may be where that sword comes in. And then we move into the Six of Pentacles. Well... Six of Pentacles is really about learning that fine art of give and take, you know, open to receiving and also giving. I feel like giving you don't have a problem with. But truly, and when I say open to receiving, I mean like your heart is open. Um, you're not putting, you know, listen, fear is natural, but you're not letting fear stop you. Um, the Six of Pentacles is a very empathetic and compassionate type energy. Some of you, and I could definitely see this with you, Pisces, where, you know, you may try to help someone else. Um, I feel like one of the lessons you may um, have learned is you can't fix everyone. You just can't. And stop trying. You know, um, there's nothing wrong with trying to help someone, but I feel like there, there's someone in particular that it's just like, it's not your job to fix them. Let, let their spiritual team take care of that. Um, and I feel like a six of pentacles means that there was probably some imbalance. Again, maybe I had an easy time giving, but do I allow my heart to be open to also to receive? And I'm not talking just love. I'm talking about in all elements.
You know, it's interesting also because how I said earlier, I felt that with judgment here, coming under justice, I did feel like some of you have dealt with some karmic issues or karmic lessons. Um, But I feel the more that you use that sword, right? The more you understand certain people I just can't fix, but it doesn't mean I should wait around. Um, the more that I'm open, I feel like what you're doing is you you're you paid off some difficult karma, but now I feel like you're moving into the energy of good karma. So it's like rewards for the for a few things for the work that you've done on yourself, you know, just trying to be a better person. Maybe even trusting. Uh, for some of you, like within your abilities. And don't let anybody else like try to shut that part of you down. You know, um, you're psychic by nature. But many don't know that until they really allow their spirituality to open up. And I love that you have spiritual prosperity here. So I feel like you're you're moving into a time um, where good karma is now going to find you. Why? You deserve it. That's why. All right. Well, look at that. The Nine of Cups. First of all, that's inner harmony. I feel like this is really loving life. Doesn't have to mean all elements, but it is coming over material and spiritual prosperity. Also over the hermit. Now the nine of cups also talks about fulfillment of wishes. So you have two energies that talk about wishes now. But hopefully wishes being granted. I feel like some of you have um, moved out of this period of solitude, let's say. And it's like you're like reintroducing yourself to the world. You know, you use that sword. And what did it do? It helped bring you inner harmony. And again, your past were lessons. And I feel like many of you have learned these lessons. So that's why I feel like good karma is on its way. And I love that you now have two energies to talk about wishes being granted. We have the King of Swords, could be a Libra, coming over justice, Um, but it could also be a Gemini. We have Gemini on the board. We also have Aquarius on the board. But this King is coming over justice, so. You know, another thing with justice is when you learn to use that sword accordingly, um... It's usually because you're, you yourself are feeling unbalanced. And I feel like when you use that sword, you cut ties. Um, I feel like immediately you feel balanced again. Doesn't mean like I feel completely healed. Um, I don't, there's not still some like, you know, residual energy. But I feel like ultimately you are finding this balance we have, well, hello, Ace of Swords. Could that be Ring Ring? Maybe. We have the Strength card over the Emperor. Double Leo. And then we have, look at this, the Three of Wands over the Lovers. Well, hello. And I love that above the Three of Wands over the Lovers is the Nine of Cups. Three of Wands is about living in the present moment. It's an energy of optimism. And that makes sense with the Nine of Cups there. And, you know, some of you may still be in the hangman energy. And when I say optimism is on its way, you may be like, eh, I doubt it. Well, I do feel like our attitude has a lot to do with it. Because, again, this person is choosing to be optimistic. This person is listening to their guidance because judgment is saying, we need you in the present moment. 
Why? Because this is where we send your signs. And again, judgment mirroring your intuition. Three of Wands is also, you know, you're saying to the universe that I trust that my ships will come in and I trust that they'll come in divine timing and the rest I'm going to let go of. So whatever I cannot control in the Three of Wands, I'm letting it go. I'm letting it be. Um, but again, it is like the expectations that your ships will reach you. And they're coming right over the lovers. Strength card over the hermit, or over the hermit, over the, over authority, over the emperor. That's interesting. This could talk about something that the emperor um, himself or herself had to deal with. You know, I feel like the strength card is our inner being. You know, it's, it's finding clarity within. It's the things that we've overcome. Um, that then turns into power and courage. Let's see what's mirroring the Ace of Swords. Excuse me. Well, they just split my favorite love card. This is the marriage card. I call it the commitment card. Coming over your spiritual team. Do you think they're involved in your love life? The answer is yes. Um, this is about true commitment. And why I love this card so much is because everyone in this energy wants to be in this energy it's like you meet someone and even if it's just the beginning there's this feeling just a feeling right that this just might be the one you know it's interesting it's following the three of wands optimism and then the four of wands commitment and it's mirroring the ace of swords we had a card a few cards Oh, my foot just cramped up. All right. Um, so we got the Seven of Swords, though it did come in reverse. So we're going to leave it like that and then look at this. Hello, soulmates. Um, by the way, soulmates is mirroring the star. Pisces, this feels like a very good time in your life. And I have to say, the more I do readings for December, I feel like for a lot of people, the energy just feels like it's lifting. But listen, you're responsible for a lot of these blessings that are coming into your life now. It is because of, you know, overcoming. And it is, you know, having faith. and just trusting that your your dreams, your wishes will manifest. And remember, you're helping them to manifest. And maybe an optimistic view is the best way to look at it. Again, three of wands, I feel like I feel like it's such an important energy right now because right next to judgment where they are literally calling you to the present moment. That means that they have a very important sign for you. Ace of Swords over your intuition, communication, like trust what you're feeling. Definitely trust what you're feeling. Um, and then, I mean, hello, soulmates. And then we get the Seven of Swords in reverse, which I feel like is great news. Um, you know, Seven of Swords is really untrustworthy energy. They call the Seven of Swords the thief in the night. This is someone who I feel like has a lack mentality. Um, you know, it's more gimme, gimme, gimme type energy. And 
probably someone you dealt with, and I have a feeling you're just tired of giving um, to this particular person. And do I feel like they deserve your energy? I don't. I feel like you, for some of you, it's like you've given all you could. And maybe it's just time for a new dream. You know, a new wish. Nine of Cups. Um, you, you know, I often feel like in the Nine of Cups is singular energy. So some of you, it could certainly talk about romance and, again, cutting ties to just, let's just say somebody can't give you the love you deserve. Um, but you can give it to yourself. You know, and that's really what the Nine of Cups is about. It really is inner harmony. Um, but it can also be singular energy. All right, let's keep going. We have the Four of Pentacles came in reverse. Interesting. You know, the first thing that came to my mind, for some of you, this soulmate may not live right around you. This may be someone you connect to, like, through conversation, through the phone, text. You know what I mean? Like, um, I just get this feeling that this soulmate, it, it, I don't know, like, I don't feel like they live in the same town that you live in. Um, and another thing I want to say with the Four of Pentacles in reverse, you do want to be careful in that energy that you're open to, you're open to the unexpected. In the Four of Pentacles, sometimes we can be very resistant, you know, like it's my way or the highway, um, or flows down to like ideas, epiphanies, but I feel more, and I do feel that, but I also feel it's, um, again, talking about potential location. We have the King of Cups. King of Cups. So we have a few people on the board. We have the King of Swords, who, I hate to say this, but I feel like that's who's being cut out. Um, and, you know, it doesn't have to be an air sign. I feel like, why would I cut this person out? It probably has something to do with communication or a lack of. Um, again, this king is mirroring also the seven of wands. So, defensive type energy. Someone could have been accusing you and you're constantly defending yourself. Or... They feel they're constantly defending themselves. But the thing is, I feel like you're right. You know what I mean? Like, I do feel like you're right um, as it relates to this king. I don't feel like this king is serving you um, or helping your dreams come true. Let's put it that way. If anything, I feel like this king is hindering the potential of what can be. Um, but that's part of the lesson, right? That's what you're learning. Like, okay. Yeah, this king has terrible communication. This could be someone who <clears throat> just out of the blue ghosts you. Um, and to me, I feel like if someone does that to you, that's your answer. You know, because with the four of wands over judgment, again, the marriage card or the commitment card, I'm telling you, everybody in that energy wants to be in that energy. It's like falling in love and then just like, I can't imagine my life without you now. But it's not just you. The other person feels the exact same way. And I love that the King of Cups came out over that. Um, Can represent Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Can be you. But I really feel like this King is coming out, especially holding this cup. He's speaking of love. Um, 
And this king is mirroring the reversal of the Seven of Swords. So with the sun here, let's say the Seven of Swords was in the upright, which again is untrustworthy energy. It can be someone who tells a lot of lies. You know, it's just bad communication. And I definitely feel like it's connected to that king. But I feel like the sun is also here to help illuminate to you, like anyone new who's coming into your life. Um, you know, it can be someone you already know. I mean, you're definitely connecting with someone here. And it is a soulmate energy. Not only that, but we also have the lovers. Some of you can also be twin flames. That may be why the number 11 really stood out to me. Um, I don't know. When I see 11, I, I often think of twin flames. But it doesn't have to be that. Understand that. Let's just look at the four of wands as real commitment, true love. You know, and let's just forget the title. It's just true love. So now the hangman, it makes sense, right? Because, again, the hangman is seeking spiritual wisdom to use on this earthly plane. And some of you may have been asking or praying about a situation that may have to do with this king. Again, someone who I felt communication, not good. Um, a lot of defensive type energy. You know, it could be a lot of ego. Um and I feel like part of your guidance is, you know, to consider if that's the energy you want to stay with. I don't feel like it is because I feel like that's what the Nine of Cups is about. It's you letting go of, you know, the things that didn't work out in your favor. Um, but I feel like things are always working out in your favor as long as you're keeping an eye to the sky. You know, the more that we allow ourselves to be in this optimistic energy. Um, and, and that just means that I'm appreciating the things I have, the people around me right now. Um, but it doesn't mean, or I should say, but it also means that you are expecting these ships to come in. All right, I'm trying to think, is there anything I want to look at? We're definitely bringing out the romance angels because we do have love on the table. And, um, you know, this is not just about love because I feel like this is also saying like, um, and I feel this for so many. And again, it could be planetary energy that's helping. It's not just planetary energy, it's you. But I feel like planetary energy could be helping. Um, but anyways, I feel like uh, business ownership and, again, material prosperity, but also spiritual prosperity. So I could see, because, again, you are naturally psychic. Um, I feel like you are natural healers. And I feel like the best healers have really gone through the most difficult of times. And that's what allows us to help heal others, right? I've walked your shoes. I understand your plight. I want to help you get through. You know, you're doing this with a very, with let's just say joy in your heart. So it makes you happy to help others in that way. Now, I am not talking about this king because, again, you can't fix everyone. And some people you're just not meant to fix. You know, I often feel in readings that certain people are just more than comfortable living in lower vibrational energy. And that is their choice. But it doesn't feel like you are because, again, you're having this spiritual prosperity. That means you're paying attention to your guides, and that makes me happy. It makes your guides happy. I feel like also with the Four of Pentacles in reverse, try to let go of exactly who the Two of Cups is, what it must look like. 
um, and just think about like how you yourself have grown. You know, when your vibration is of a higher vibration, then the universe must meet that. So again, like if if I've learned the lessons that my life has given me, if I've learned karmic lessons, I mean, congratulations, number one, because you've learned them for eternity. And you also, I feel like, again, you cut those ties to generations following you. Hmm. I mean, what a beautiful line down here. Really, it's all quite beautiful. But I feel like this is talking about your money and, you know, what you can do in the world. I do feel like this is saying that whatever you choose or whatever you have already chosen, it does feel like it brings you a sense, again, of inner harmony. You feel good doing it. And listen, if you feel good doing it, even if it's hard work, it doesn't seem like work at all. And you may, I don't even feel like you're doing it for the money. I feel like money is just part of it. You know, healers have to learn that, that it's okay to accept money. You know, um, our spiritual team knows that we need finances to live. So, you know, don't put money blocks in front of you because I feel like money is coming your way. But so is love. All right. Um, what do I want to look at? It's like, you know, it's funny because I'm always thinking like I should clarify a little bit more, but I, but I feel like it's so clear. Um, so let's just go. You know, my eyes are fixated on the Nine of Cups, but also the soulmates. So, with that in mind, I'm just going to take some cards right across the middle. We have the Nine of Wands. So, you have three nines in the reading. I could certainly talk about a period of time when you have been in deep reflection. But you know, the Knight of Wands, I kind of love that energy. Um, I call the Knight of Wands person my spirit warrior. This is someone who is willing to look at their past, learn from it, you know, and it, it really is like understanding how much you have grown. Um, but it's just beginning. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I feel like this is you again looking at the past, but you're looking at it through a different lens. You're seeing like your own growth. And I feel like that's a beautiful thing. Again, my spirit warrior. That means there's nothing you cannot get through. But you have, you probably have been in a state of reflection for a while. Um, but I feel like your spiritual team is like, be proud of who you are today. Hello, sun again. Beautiful. It's, it's like it's illuminating your spiritual journey. We have the Ten of Wands. Okay. Ten of Wands. Let's not forget, the sun illuminates everything. So, first of all, it's illuminating the Nine of Wands. And that is the energy of where I feel like your spiritual team wants you to be proud of the things that you have overcome. Um, being proud of who you are today. And then the sun's also illuminating the Ten of Wands. That could certainly talk about... Um, you know, one of the lessons I learned as it relates really to anything in my life is, I, you know, I'm not responsible for carrying the weight of the world on my shoulders. 
um, I often feel in the Ten of Wands, secretly or subconsciously, um, wanting a tower, I'm wanting this energy to end. Um, I feel like for some of you, you know, you are givers. Um, and it's about now learning how to receive And I feel like this is also talking about um, at least a last relationship, if not a few relationships where it does feel unbalanced, like you were the giver and someone else was the taker. Well, that's what the Seven of Wands is. This person will take all day long. You know, you can go out and make a living and come home and they have their hands out. Like, well, go get your own job. Go get your own money. The star following the Ten of Wands. Okay. So the sun's illuminating um, your wishes. But let's go back to the death card where there is transformation, closing of a chapter, right? So the world chapter can now open. I feel like that's what the Ten of Wands is. It, it just feels like a period of time. Um, where there was just so much on your shoulders. Doesn't feel like an easy time, but it does feel like a time that is ready to end. You know, I feel like you got to drop some of those wands and allow, you know, people to take care of their own problems. Now, I'm not talking about like in a healing business. I'm talking about like in your life, you know, the people around you. Or those that you loved. You know, it's like, I don't want to carry the weight of a relationship. I want it to be a two-way street. Well, there is the four of wands right there. So I feel like that's exactly what you're you're receiving. Um, but even more of a reason to, like, let old chapters go. Again, taking that time to reflect upon it. But really, it's about how you have grown from it. So the sun is helping to illuminate, you know, your growth, but also um, that you might have the tendency to carry, you know, the brunt of, a, of the responsibility of relationships, even if they're work-related, um, on your shoulders. It do doesn't seem fair. It doesn't seem balanced. And balance is what you're after. And balance is what you can find. No doubt you can find it. Everything is showing that, right? And that's why I feel like more than ever, it's important that, first of all, I seek the wisdom and then have myself open, be open to receiving your spiritual team's wisdom and guidance. And remember, it's through your intuition. So, it's something that instinctively you'll feel, hmm, I, maybe I should just move towards this. Let's just see where it goes. Okay, let's pick this up. And um, let's bring out the Romance Angels. Let's give them a couple cuts, or a couple... Shuffles. One more. All right. So, um, I'm not putting any restrictions on whatever wants to come out, but what I really want to know um, is more about this Two of Cups, the lovers moving into this true commitment. And this is true commitment, the marriage card. Again, I feel like everybody there wants to be there. It feels a lot different from what I've had. Let your friends help you. 
ask for and accept support from others. Let your friends help you. Some of you, you may have a friend who introduces you to someone. Like, I have the perfect person in mind for you. Because who knows you better than your friends? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate, right here, your soulmate. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. That's what exactly what I feel your spiritual team is saying to you. Like, don't, don't be resistant to anything that may look different. Be different. Because, you know, this could be a type of love that you have yet to experience. So you don't know how good it can be. You definitely feel like this is someone who is more than willing to earn your trust. And um, I feel like the best way, let's say, you know, it's like, okay, Sandy, I want all this, but how do I know? Like, how do I know that this, this is my real soulmate? By the way, we have more than one soulmate. And I feel like love is about levels. There's different levels to love also. And that's really what I'm saying here is I feel like you've been through some lower vibrational energy as it relates to love. Um, it may be other areas of your life also, but I feel like that's all changing now. So this feels like a much higher vibrational type of love. So keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Look at this. Pisces, true love. Well, I had no doubt. This is a romance of a lifetime. I may just title your video that. This is a romance of a lifetime. True love. Wow. The marriage card. The commitment card. The true love card. Coming right over your spiritual team who's helping to guide you. Ace of Swords, right over your intuition. This is where you're going to find your signs. I feel like Seven of Swords in reverse is helping to give you some comfort that this is not a lower vibrational love. Matter of fact, think about where your own vibration is at because that's what's going to come back to you. And that could be a little bit of what the hangman is. It could be even our spiritual teams like, wait, not yet. Not yet. Right? I really, uh, like, I prefer you to really define this inner harmony first so that you're much more open. Keep an open mind. And this is true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. I believe it. You know, and this is why the readings are long. And, and in a way, I feel bad for the ones who like click off too soon. Because I feel like our true, the true beauty comes towards the end of the reading. Right? First, we have to know where we've been so we know where we're going. We have to know who we've been. You know, we do need to find spiritual prosperity so that we can trust in our team to guide us. That's their job. You know, like imagine your spiritual team when you're not paying attention. They're probably like, ah, Pisces. And by the way, they will shake things up. You know, they will try to make you feel uncomfortable. And that may sound the opposite of love. But it's so that these dreams, these wishes can become your life. You know, they're not just cards on a table. They can become your life. 
How do I get there? I need to think about that sort of justice. I feel like that's first and foremost because the old energy has no place here. Now, I'm not going to leave off the table that some of you may know this person because, again, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. You may just be putting the word out there. Hey, I'm single. You know, I often feel in these readings, in this time on social media, um, where we say so much about ourselves, some of you could certainly be changing. And I get this all the time where I feel like some are changing their status um, from relationship to single. And other people are picking up on that. So you may have an old friend who reaches out, like out of the blue. Again, jump into the three of wands energy. Just going to live in the present moment. I'm just going to expect that my ships will come in in their due time. But in the meantime, I'm just going to enjoy. First of all, I feel like this inner harmony. This material and spiritual prosperity. And, you know, it talks about success, right? Spiritual prosperity. That means that your guides are going to get through to you. I trust that. And I know that different people are going to be at different places in the reading. But I feel like, let's say you're still kind of stuck with someone who's not loving who's not giving, who's not caring. It will take you to cut those ties. I mean, that has to come from you. Um, it has to be your decision. But if you've been dealing with a, a relationship that was just hell, do not think that all relationships are like that. Matter of fact, I feel like the one thing, not just the one thing, I feel like we learned so much um, at this table. And I feel like one of the things that we learn is that I have to think about where my own energy is at. To truly manifest a life that I'm going to be happy in. You know, it's like some of you have been in this energy of solitude, but now you're coming back out into the world. It's like Pisces is back. Pisces is back. But true love, marriage, soulmates, the lovers, lovers, head over heart decision. What am I going to follow here? I feel like you're going to follow your heart. Um, but the lovers to me is also chemistry. Like it's undeniable. So the best thing or the best advice I could probably give you at this time is really to think about your own vibration and what you accept and what you're no willing, you're no longer willing to accept. Um, you have every right to live life the way that you see fit. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's an important component of this. I do feel like, again, this all just feels like good karma, but it feels like right timing at the same time. Like it's coming in the right time. <clears throat> and do I have any doubt, even though I said let's not give any titles, that this is a soulmate or a twin flame for some? I don't have any doubt. No doubt. Not only that, but I feel like there's no games being played here. Um, I feel like everyone is open and honest. And, you know, it's not even about moving it quickly. Um, I, I just love this image because I feel like it's like they're they're talking. They're getting to know they're getting to know each other. Even if I already know this person, maybe I don't know them as they are today. You know, and enjoying that. 
Look how he's leaning in towards her. He knows who he wants. Look at that Cupid. He's getting ready to strike the heart of both of them. I feel like he's already feeling it. Maybe it's more for her. Some of you, you could come as a package deal, and that may be one of your worries. But look how, again, I feel like 100% he accepts that. Or she. Matter of fact, even in true love, you see this little girl connected. Where, same thing here. So, you know, if you have children, um, and maybe that's one of you, I remember, um, I remember my ex-husband saying to me when we broke up that I'm never going to find love because, you know, there's no man who's going to want to take me with two children. And I believed that. I bought it. Um, until the right person did come along. Um, and I'm not even talking about Sam yet. I'm just talking about um, there was a time in my life when I'd gone through some very difficult energy um, and I really had to learn to save myself. And that's what I did. I saved myself. Um, and, you know, one of the things I said is I am not going to get another another relationship. And then I went at, or I remember um, someone that my brother was living with. Um, they worked together. I ended up, I ended up with him for like 25 years. But I have to say, when we came together, it was in divine timing. And even though we're not still together, we're still good friends. Um, I definitely felt the purpose for each of us. Um, I just felt it. So. I don't know, guys. I feel like this is so beautiful. Um, though I do recognize the hardship at the same time. You know, I feel like the best thing to say here is if people aren't giving you the respect you deserve, if someone is like not contacting you, take that as their answer. And and I mean that because you deserve so much more, but you have to know that. And then I feel like as this new love enters you know i feel like you are sitting in a much better place like you're feeling much better about yourself especially if you, you cut those ties it's like freedom and then i feel like you're just gonna fall in love you know and i feel like listen this is something that it feels like it takes care of itself like all i need to do is just Keep myself in the in the present moment and trust within my spiritual team that, you know, they have my highest um, good in mind. So whatever, you know, whatever is coming towards me again in love. Well, I mean, it is true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. It's, re it, you know, your soulmate made different from your usual types and expectations. And then we have soulmate right below that. Beautiful. I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, I just don't know how it can get better than that. Um, and even though, you know, it's so beautiful at the end, I do want you to understand, like, how how you get here. You know what I mean? Like how you ultimately get here. And this inner harmony of the nine of cups, you know, and it's also fulfillment of wishes. And I love that it's also coming over material and spiritual prosperity. 
you know, your vibration is just higher. It just is. And it makes sense that, that this true love would enter. It just makes sense. It just feels like the right time. Okay. I could just keep going on and on and on, but I'm going to let that be, guys. Um, I love your reading, Pisces. I hope you do, too. Um, and for those who are still in the hangman, you know, my prayers are that your guides really help you to see or at least to picture the possibilities within, you know, within the unexpected. The unexpected can bring us so much. And by the way, I don't know too many people who can say that they planned love out. Love just happens. This person comes into your life. I, I feel like when you come into each other's lives, I feel like the energy is going to be undeniable. The chemistry is going to be undeniable. I feel like you'll probably fall in love pretty quickly. And there is going to be a difference. You're going to feel the difference of this love versus previous love. You're going to feel the difference. And you want to talk about good karma. Wow. You deserve this. You deserve it. You deserve it all. And I hope you know that. All right, guys. I'm going to let that be. Um, can't wait to read your comments. See where you're at in the reading. Um, <clears throat> as always, I want to thank um, those who share their story to help others. You know, you really do help through your comments, um, especially if you understand like, okay, I was in the hangman and I'm now in the nine of cups of energy. You can certainly help others understand that. Yes, that things do come like unexpectedly, but you know, knowing that you deserve it. So thank you anyways. Thank you for the comments. I truly appreciate it. Um, and I read every comment. I really do. And I try to respond to every comment. Um, so I thank you. I thank you for your donations. It's truly what keeps this channel alive. You know, believe it or not. Um, I mean, I don't know about uh, other Chiray readers, but, you know, I might get a donation like one out of four readings. Um, and I'm not asking for donations because I only want you to donate if you want to. But it is really what keeps the majority of us online. Um, I also want to thank you for sharing this video. Sometimes you're just like, you watch a reading, you're like, I know exactly who this is for. So I thank you for sharing. Um, I thank you for just being part of this channel, part of my soul family. Uh, I truly love each and every one of you. And I'm, I'm so grateful for all of you. Always. Um, always so thank you and i will see you next time at our table december looks great pisces but it just feels like it's just the beginning it's just the beginning this i feel like this is going to be your your idol true love this is a romance of a lifetime of a lifetime i love you I'll see you next time at our table. Bye-bye.